Okay, so in this video I'm tackling questions five and six from project number one, part one, uh, calculating the minimum variance portfolio weights and the optimal portfolio weights. I probably won't take this all the way to the end of that, but just to give you an idea. At this point, you should have all of your statistics calculated based on the returns above, the average returns, geometric averages, the variances and standard deviations, as well as a covariance and a correlation between the two sets of returns. Here we're trying to calculate the set of weights, the proportions in which you would invest money in these two assets to minimize the risk of the overall portfolio, the minimum variance portfolio weights. I've pasted here off to the right the, a copy of the formula from the textbook. Obviously, you won't have this in your worksheet, but you can look it up. All we're doing here is implementing that formula in a cell. Uh, the textbook develops this formula in terms of a portfolio of stocks and a portfolio of bonds. That's why they have uh, variables denoted S and B. Um, I have two stocks here. I'm just going to call uh, KLA 10 core, the B portfolio, and Riley, the S portfolio. Uh, just make sure you keep those straight. What the form formula gives you is the weight of the B portfolio in terms of the variances, the standard deviations, and the correlation between the two. So I'm setting up the formula here. Start with an equals. Uh, looks like I have a big fraction in this formula, so I'm going to set up some parentheses for the numerator. Sigma squared of s, that's the variance of O'Reilly. That's the first term. Minus product here. The standard deviation of the B portfolio, that's KLA, uh, that's sigma b times sigma s times the correlation between the two. Close parentheses, that's my numerator, divided by in the denominator. I have the variance of s, that's O'Reilly, again, that's uh, the cell, plus the variance of KLA, that's this cell, minus a product here, two times sigma B, that is this, times sigma S, that's this, and the correlation once again between the two. Close parentheses, I have one too many, there, that works looks like an answer. If you have about 32% of your money invested in Portfolio B or stock KLA 10 core, the rest of your money would have to be invested in the other one. Equals one minus that. You could format these as a percent. That probably makes sense here. Um, Bold face. So far, so good. That seems correct. Question six asks you to find the optimal portfolio weights. And that formula is a lot more challenging. I've pasted it in down here just so you can get an idea of how, how you might go about this. Um, again, we have this portfolio B and portfolio S. So you want to keep your uh, stocks straight. Make sure you remember which one is which. This formula requires a risk-free rate. I made a, a post about this, but you want a daily risk-free rate since we have daily returns here. So uh, 0.001 is a reasonable estimate. That will become your RF. Uh, everything else as we've done before. The expected returns here, E of RB, expected return on stock B, or in our case, that's in, in my case here, that's KLA 10 core. The expected return would always be the arithmetic average 
of returns. So that's expected return for B. This would be expected return for S. Sigmas are the standard deviations. Sigma squared are the variances. And the rho is the correlation between the two. Once again, this is a long formula. So it'll take you some time to develop that. But this is an example of how you might go about that.